Hey Capricorns, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. To my returning Cappies, welcome back, my loves. Good morning and happy Sunday. All right, Capricorn, we're going to hop right into you guys' reading, okay? we This is a New Year's collective reading, so please keep in mind that the reading will not resonate with every single Capricorn. So please check the other placements in your natal chart, such as your moon and rising sign, okay? Well, your moon. Yeah, moon and rising sign. I'm sorry. Yeah, moon and rising sign because this is for sun sign Capricorn. But like I said, it will not resonate with every single Capricorn. So check the other videos, okay? Um, we're going to start out with some messages from spirit. Okay, we're going to start there. And then we're just going to keep going, okay? We're going to go into the tarot and we're going to close it out with an ancestor message. This is a general reading. So anything that spirit wants you guys to know, anything that comes up during this reading is what is um, to be expected for you guys sometime in 2022. It is a timeless reading, okay? Please keep that in mind. Holy Spirit, Divine Source, what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, Capricorn, please do me a huge favor. <laughs> Capricorn season. So happy birthday to you guys if you've already had your birthday. And if you haven't yet, happy early birthday. Shout out to you guys. Love you guys, Cappies. <clears throat> uh, Spirit says, be more assertive. Some of you guys are passive or have passive aggressive tendencies. Like you guys um, sometimes don't stand up for yourselves, Capricorn. Um, and you just, you know, especially when it comes to love, I feel like intimate partners or people who are very close to you, maybe even family members or close friends. Sometimes you don't want to hurt their feelings. So you just don't say anything. And that that's not healthy. You need to be able to feel how you feel and express how you feel without being afraid to do so. So during this time, we're currently in Capricorn season. Spirit's message to you guys is to be more assertive and that we have more than a year. Um, for those of you guys, I feel like those of you who are entrepreneurs, Capricorn, if you're starting a business or considering it or you just started school or anything like that, you may be graduating by the end of 2022 or your business may start to jump off going into 2023. But don't give up. Keep being persistent and keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track, okay? All right, so in regards to matters of the heart, we're gonna hop right into that as well. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Source, what messages do you have for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let's see what, me what messages Spirit has for you guys in regards to love, Capricorn. Let's find out. power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time thank you spirit for confirmation remember what i just told you guys about being more assertive and speaking your mind and stating how you feel spirit was just confirming that for me like some of you guys need to stand up for what it is that you want and your connections especially in relationships with people like don't tolerate foolery. Don't tolerate foolery. If the person is not, if they're not giving what they're supposed to give in that connection, you're feeling jaded. You're feeling like, you know, why am I wasting my time with this person? Let them know. Let them know how you're feeling, Capricorn. Don't hold it in. All right. What other messages, Spirit, do you have for my Cappies? We got, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So what is it that you're passionate about? If you're wanting to start a new business, if you're wanting to take up a new, a new hobby, whatever that is, could be journaling, writing, creating blogs, whatever it is, Capricorn, that you've been thinking about. Spirit wants you to spend some time um, alone in reflection and meditation or prayer, whichever one works for you. But to really take some time out and think about what it is that you want. And then we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Um, Spirit is just saying here with um, sometimes, you know, people like to nitpick and you could be in a relationship with someone who's very nitpicky or you could be the nitpicker. 
Okay, take it how it resonates. But Spirit says that pettiness will only lead to further unhappiness. You, you have to learn, you have to pick your battles is what I'm hearing. Like you have to be able to know what about, what is it about your person that's just a personality trait versus a bad character trait. Personality is something that can be changed. Character is the core of who you are and that cannot be changed. And that's why it's so very important during the courting or dating phase of some, when you're um, trying to enter a relationship to really get to know that person, their quirks, um, the things that make them tick, their triggers, traumas, all that stuff so that you know, okay, this is what I can and cannot deal with. Because deal breakers should be a part of your standards. You know what I'm saying? You should know what you can and cannot uh, deal with. All right. So let's get into the tarot. All right. Let's get into it. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Source. Ooh, what messages do you have for my Capricorns? Sun and Rising and Venus for this new year. Also, Capricorn, um, if you would like um, a free reading this coming up week, it has to be done before Friday because this is my birthday weekend coming up. Um, so I'm not going to be available for personals, but if you would like a personal Capricorn, please email me, um, your information, name, date of birth, full date of birth. Okay. And if you have any specific questions, okay. And I will do my best to work on that for you. We got the three of swords. Oh boy. Some of you all may have recently had to let go of a situation, may have recently gone through a breakup Capricorn. Um, it may have been painful for you guys and you low key could still be grieving it, but it was, it was, it was for the better. Look, we have the fool here. Um, and the fool is about taking a risk, starting over. Basically you had to start over. Like you had to move forward on your own and go on your own journey. And just keep in mind that, you know, each one of us is on our own personal journey. So everybody is not going to be able to go with us. You know, everybody's not going to be able to go on the healing bus with you. Some people choose not to heal. Some people choose to stay stuck where they are. Some people are complacent and they're comfortable where they are. They don't want more. They don't want better. They're okay with bare necessities. They're okay with basic living. They're okay with certain things. And sometimes it's just a matter of, it doesn't make them a bad person. It's just that you guys may be incompatible, if that makes sense. So if this resonates for you, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. But look, you guys had a tower moment. You guys had a tower moment. You had a moment of awakening or realization, Capricorn, for some of you, that it just simply wasn't working. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't in alignment with what it is that you're trying to accomplish or your goals in life. And that is okay. Um, doesn't make the person a bad person. It just simply means that you two are just not compatible, right? Or for some of you guys, if you've been teetering or on the fence about leaving a situation, Spirit is giving you confirmation that it's coming. It's going to come down to that. You're going to end up leaving, um, separating, moving, relocating, whatever the case is, because what's going on around you is not conducive to your growth. And sometimes Spirit allows you to see that you've outgrown a situation, Capricorn. You may have outgrown certain people, places, and things, and that's okay. It's time for you to move forward with this full card. It's time for you to take a risk and start a journey on your own. Like I said, everybody can't go with you. We also have the Nine of Cups. I love this for you guys because this says you guys are comfortable. You're learning to be comfortable, not just um, luxury wise or materialistically, but also mentally and spiritually, you're comfortable where you are. You understand your purpose, you know what your goals are, and you're happy either way. You're happy either way, Capricorn. I love that for you guys. We have the world. Either you may have recently moved Capricorn, or you may be considering relocating, or something that's heavily on your mind. For some of you guys, um, you could also be at a long distance. You may have to travel for work. Um, you could be in a long distance relationship as well. <clears throat> so this year, you may be expecting that to travel where you get a job that requires you to travel, you know, a little bit of a distance for your job. But always just keep in mind to trust your intuition and what works best for you. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Some of you guys are leaving some things, people, places behind um, this year, Capricorn, people who only pulled you down with the three of swords, they caused a lot of grief, confusion, hurt, 
and all of that. And you're moving forward because you realize you deserve better. You realize that change, you have to be the change that you want. So you guys are moving in a new direction. And I love that for you guys this year. And it, and the blessings are coming. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. The blessings are coming. You will have the opportunity to actually either meet the love of your lifetime this year or to really step into your power and to really um, start getting the blessings that are coming to you. Look at this. Six of Wands. This is about success and victory. So, yes, you had to go through the tower moments because tower moments are tough. They're changes. And they're, they could be sudden changes when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you got evicted from an, an apartment. You know, you couldn't stay there anymore or you and your person had a big falling out and you had to leave or whatever the case is. Or you moved to a completely new state. You don't know anybody there. You're trying to figure things out. But spirit is like, it's going to work out for you. Six of Wands. So trust the process, Capricorn. You guys are very much ambitious people. Most of the Capricorns that I know are go-getters. So you guys, you know, just trust in spirit know that spirit is divinely guiding you along the path that you're supposed to be on and everything's going to work out and your money is looking great honey ten of pentacles is looking great the material world is looking great because that's all about success king of pentacles because it's because you guys have been putting in the work capricorn you guys have been studying for those exams you guys have been passing your tests and tests come in a variety of ways it can be people sent to us to test us to see how we're going to react. It can be situations to see how we're going to respond. The universe is, is counting on us to um, mature and to integrate shadow and aspects into our light aspects to balance things out. Um, but you guys have been putting in the work. You know what I mean? You guys have been putting in the work. The, 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 actually, this is the king of pentacles. Sorry. King of pentacle energy. Yeah. You guys have been putting in the work. All right. So Ace of Pentacles, new doors and new opportunities, I love this, are coming towards you. And some of you guys will be receiving um, an offer from someone, a love offer this year if you're single from somebody that wants to um, be in a long-term committed relationship with you guys. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So this person could be um, your divine counterpart, okay? Let's see. Tell me more, Spirit. Also, job offer, a better job offer coming. If you if you just moved recently, Capricorn, you may have a better, um, your business may really start to take off because of the area that you're in. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you may have more income coming in or better job opportunities because you've relocated somewhere that is uh, <clears throat> in a good place. Okay, <laughs> Capricorn. So I see somebody coming in for you guys in regards to love also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And anytime we have two of the same suit, that is a divine pair. Okay, divine couple. So I feel like you guys really could definitely be meeting someone who um, you feel is uh, marriage material or this person could be the love of your life. You want a long-term committed relationship with this person. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Very nurturing. Both of these, both of these, okay, these personalities are very loving, nurturing, supportive individuals. Emotionally available, emotionally mature. But, Spirit says, get out of your own way. Two of Swords. Don't let fear step in. Don't let self-sabotage and negative thinking set in because you got the Two of Swords. You may be at a stalemate, not really sure what you want to do. Take your time. Five of Pentacle. Pentacle energy is Earth energy. And earth energy is very slow moving. So take your time. There's no rush. But also with the five of pentacles, um, either this person that's coming towards you may feel insecure about themselves or have some insecurities or feel like they don't have a lot to offer, or you may feel this way. Regardless, this type of energy can block the connection. Okay, so spirit's just, just advising you to be aware of it because this could be a very beautiful connection. We have the two of cups. We have the two of cups. And that's that's really true love for me. All right. And you're in a queen of cups energy, very much focused on loving yourself, um, self-care, self-love and self-care are two different things, but they're both very important. 
So focus on nurturing the, the relationships you have with the people who are close to you right now if you're single Capricorn because you're actually manifesting and attracting the type of love that you want to come to you. Loving yourself, taking care of your health, taking care of your finances and nurturing yourself. You're putting that vibration into the universe and it's drawing your divine counterpart. Okay, so let's close out with an ancestor message. Ooh, yep, we got Sky Father. Trust in the unknown, trust in the almighty, trust in the higher power, Capricorn. I said this earlier, don't worry and don't stress about the details. Just go, just do what you need to do. But it says, trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the great father. Know that he is lovingly leading you forward. <clears throat> you are a co-creator of your life and every thought, feeling, intention, and emotion you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what's going to unfold before you. When this card appears, you're being guided to step back and get out of your own way. Okay, because there's a greater power that's not only around you, but within you. Okay, accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life. So see things from a higher perspective, like the eagle on this card. Okay, also, if you guys are struggling with um, like daddy issues or father issues, Spirit saying now is a good time to um, work on healing those aspects. Okay, because you when you have a father wound, it's difficult for you to interact with a masculine energy in a in a healthy way. So Father Sky is the energy of God Almighty himself. But if you have a father wound, Spirit is also nudging you to work on that also. So that's for you guys this new year reading Capricorn. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like I said, email me if you're interested in a birthday reading. Um, but you need to make sure you clearly put your information in there and any questions that you have. It needs The deadline is Friday. I am not taking any readings after Friday. So much love to you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And until next time, love you guys.